Welcome everyone to a new video. My name is Mark and in this video, short video, I'm going to show you that the L1 switching between players when you are defending is really broken and broken in a way that it's not like it's an OP way to go or something. It's really broken. It's not working as it's supposed to. I'm just showing you this in my editor so I can show you frame by frame what is happening and yeah, what I have. It is in a career mode match so it's not online so there's no delay there is no uh lag or something it's just on my playstation 5 and you can see it here what is important to look at that is this icon above the head of the player that is the player that you selected yourself and this is the player when you're pushing the l1 button where you should switch to so let's see this small clip I'm going to show you this frame by frame. You can see I'm selecting and I'm switching to this player. So this is working good. But now look at this. There is no the icon to switch to this player it is now above my right defender. So we're going further, further, further. And look at this. When you are switching at this frame, I'm switching and it's switching to this guy. Why? because the indicator was above this player now it's above this player but it's switching to my striker no it makes no sense switching to that guy because he's not involved in the play at that moment but okay at this mo at this moment when you do this because this is going really fast i'm showing you this guys now frame by frame so that's really really slow but imagine that this is a clip normally about nine seconds and nine seconds is a really short time if things are not going the way you should supposed to or you expect it to so now i'm searching for oh my god who am i oh and then you are seeing just in the left of the screen i am now the striker so we're going so when you are pushing now the l1 button you should go to this midfielder because the icon is above his head frame 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 Let's go to the next one where it's switching. Now it's switching to this guy, to the center back. And I'm pushing the button and it's switching to this guy. There is no indicator above his head. Next frame, buff, we are this player. So two times after each other, it's switching to the wrong player. Now, in this time i'm just thinking why am i not controlling my midfielder or my center back and now i'm switching and now he's going to the right player but in this very short period of time because this whole clip is nine seconds but between the the three switches that i did and two were wrong that's only four seconds and it's so confusing when you are playing and now yeah I'm just having the good player uh, but yeah it is it is so confusing when you are playing and I hope that they are going to fix this because I think that the L1 switching is still a good function if it's working correct because if there is an indicator above his head and you want to switch to that guy why should you use the right uh, the right stick to switch players because I wanted to go to this guy push the left bumper the left r1 l1 what is it and you're going to this guy instead of you're using your right stick and probably miss uh yeah miss aiming and go to that or to that one can happen but yeah in my opinion this is really broken and i hope that they are going to fix it really quick 